Hi everybody, it's Zoe. Um, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today is my last official day of like doing stuff on campus that I'm gonna be graded for this year, this year and this semester. Um, and I wanted to dress up a little bit, so I did, and I want to show you guys. In and out of the day form. <laughs> so, here's my earrings, and I painted my nails, and I got sandals. I got shorts. <laughs> and this dress. I'll show you in a long way. This scarf has a belt, yellow, mm -hmm. nice bright color for spring. Kind of a 60s vibe. Whoa. So, also special for today. I want to do five Italian idioms with you. Here they are. I'll put them down in the description. Somebody's coming. So, the first one is Avere le mani d'oro To be gifted in doing things Literally means To have hands of gold Avere le mani d'oro Number two is cadere in piedi. Piedi. Cadere in piedi. To land on one's feet. Or to come out of a situation without damage. Literally, to land on one's feet. Or to fall on one's feet. Or um, plunge onto one's feet. Number three. Numero tre. Numero tre. Essere allo mano. To be easy going. Or to be at hand. To be, you know, on hand or at hand. Uh, to be easy going. To basically, you know, be there. We go with the flow, you know, like when things happen. Or just to be like basically laid back. Or, um, uh, you know, basically not fickle, but like to be like okay with conditions uh, shifting, I guess. 
and to be calm in a crisis. In a sense, that's a little bit of a stretch, but... Number four, numero cuatro. Mettere in dito sulla piaga. Mettere in dito sulla piaga. Literally meaning to put the finger on the sore, or the welt, or the um, nuisance, or festering uh, wound sort of thing. Uh, piaga means more, most commonly a sore, or like a wound on your body. Um, but it means, in an idiom world, <laughs> to touch where it hurts. Which makes sense. Uh, numero cinque. Number five. Galina vecchia fa buon brodo. Literally meaning hen, old hen, makes good broth. <laughs> um, and in idiom world, it means old chicken makes good soup. Which is cute. It's pretty cute. And all these are pretty cute. And I'll do more of these in future videos. And yes, I gotta go uh, study for my exam and make a poster board for that ex exam and the presentation for it with my partner that I have for that class. And um, that's the last class I have. And then tomorrow I'm coming again to work out some uh, like plan, academic plan stuff with an advisor and. I think that's all, but I, I'll come in the summer and stuff like that, too. Uh, like, go to the library and stuff like that. Because I absolutely love to read. So, yeah. That's why I'm changing to a history major. <laughs> and an uh, Italian major. Can't wait. So, I went to do that, and the guy was like, welcome to the history. I'm like, welcome to the history program. I'm like, oh my god, I so belong. <laughs> I mean, I might not feel like I belong with the people, but I feel like I belong with the topics and the subject matter. Obviously. I love this week. So, yeah, I'll see you later, and love you guys. Bye!